Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are here in Orzammar. And last episode we started exploring Orzammar and the... I don't remember which quarter this is. The uh... Yeah, what is it called? The Diamond Quarter, right. And we checked out this gem merchant and we also saw this Nug Wrangler. And he asked us to find nugs for him. And I did um, question last time because I remember there's an option that if you bring Liliana here and talk to her, you can find a nug for her as a gift. <clears throat> and I didn't know if it was this guy who did it, who could give you the nug or whatever, but no, I looked it up and no, it is not this guy. It is a different guy. And yes, you do have to bring Liliana here in order to start that. But you have to have a certain level of affinity with her before it will trigger the conversation. And I don't know if I have that high of affinity with her. Um, anyway. Um, I, I feel like there's a spot somewhere, and I don't remember where it's at. But I feel like somewhere here in Orzammar, you can switch your party members right here. No, this is just a signpost. I feel like it. Am I, am I not remembering correctly? I feel like there was a spot where I could switch sign, or uh, switch my party members at a signpost. Was she not? There were Narav. She wasn't just there. She just got there, didn't she? Can I talk to her? Did you see that? I cannot believe what this city has come to. This would never have happened when Endrin was alive. Ah. Uh, yes. This Balin, is that King Endrin's son? Aye. What a terrible burden for a father to have only Balin left of three fine sons. In mm. the end, Endrin himself recognized that Balin cared for nothing but power. It was Endrin who ordered his son away from his deathbed and embraced Lord Harrowmont as his heir. Oh. Okay. And why such hate for Balin? Everybody knows he killed his brother Trian and let his father's favorite son take the blame. And many question whether Endrin died abed, as we were told, or whether Balin helped him along. Oh. And did you know King Endrin? Only as a potential match for one of his sons. Mm. He was a good king, stern and fair and just. Okay. And how did Endrin die? He died in bed after his eldest son was murdered and the assembly condemned his second son for it. I cannot blame him for preferring to join the ancestors in eternal peace if Balin didn't murder him himself. Hmm. And is Harrowmont uh, qualified to rule? He is a good man and a skilled general. King Endrin trusted him with his life, and I will do no less. Okay. And who are you, actually? I am Narav Helmi, third daughter of the second matron of House Helmi. And you, stranger? What brings you to Orzammar at such a time? Um, I am Bryn, a Grey Warden, and I am here seeking aid. A Grey Warden? That explains why they allowed you past the gates. What kind of aid do you mean? Yes. I have a treaty compelling Orzammar to aid against the Blight. A Blight? Now? But our warriors are killing each other in the streets! I'm sorry, stranger. I fear there will be no aid for you in Orzammar. If you seek Lord Harrowmont's support, I suggest you talk with his trusted advisor, Doolin Ferrender. He might be able to get you an audience. Yes. We did learn that already. Okay, there's another nug. Let's grab it. We're carrying nugs in a box. We can go deliver them to him. Now, I did also look up this guy. Because I wasn't sure if we should give him one or as many as we find. Because I know, because I can't remember. It's been so long since I've done this quest. Um, we give them to him one at a time. And you can give him up to ten nugs. And he pays you for each one individually. However, you can only find five here in Orzammar. 
and you have to have, find the other five somewhere else. And so I'm probably not going to try to get all ten, but we'll see. Anyway, here you go. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. No, but I've got a nug for you. Here. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I've found. Okay, so he gave me 12 silver for that. And does that mean he's going to give me 12 silver for each nug I find? That's not very much, but whatever. Okay, so I can level. Let's... Wrong button. <laughs> Let's level. Let us level up. Okay. Was I going to do something? Hold on. Was I going to do something? It seems to me that I couldn't wield that bow. Remember that time when we were ta when we were in a fight with um, what's her name? Morgan's mom and I couldn't wield the Falandine's reach, but now I can again. What happened? What happened? Oh, you know what? I think I think I know what happened. Oops. Because um, yes. Wade's superior drake skin gloves give me plus one dexterity. And it gives me two plus two dexterity, and it gives me plus one dexterity. So Wade's superior drake skin armor gives me <laughs> more dexterity, and when I took them off, I equipped my bow when I had it, and then I took them off and gave them to Alistair, and then I couldn't use the bow after that. That's what happened. I just realized that. Okay. So I don't need to put more points into dexterity in order to wield this bow. So I'll just go ahead and... Oh, wrong button. Come on. <sighs> okay, so... No, it was Wolf Killer? No, it was Valandine's Reach, I believe. Yeah, the one that I wanted. And I had to use Wolf Killer during the fight with Blemeth because I didn't have enough dexterity to wield it. There. It's sorted, you guys. It is sorted. <laughs> okay. So that means for leveling up... Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? I think I'm going to put the points into Constitution. Because I just want to be better at that. Um, hmm. Trap. Improved trap making. Second tier traps and lures. And can now detect enemy traps at a greater range. Okay. And then we have improved poison making. I can now create deadly second tier poisons and grenades. Let's do the trap making this time. Okay, what else should we do? What does third tier combat stealth? The rogue is stealthy enough to try sneaking during combat, although at a significant penalty. Well, that's nice. What is this one? Gaining the significant bonuses on all stealth checks. Okay. So, I can actually start sneaking while in combat, which is something that I can't do currently. That would be very helpful. <laughs> uh, Punisher. Character makes three blows against a target, dealing normal damage for the first two strikes and generating a critical hit for the final blow if it connects. Okay. Momentum. The sustained. I don't really like using sustained spells. Just because they use up my stamina and I always forget to use them. <laughs> Anyways, let's do the combat stealth one. I would really like to have that. Okay. All right. Uh, now, we went down there. Um, we didn't go back here. But there's nothing back here, so that's fine. Well, we probably did go back there last episode. I just don't remember. Okay, let's head off to the other side and see what's down there. There's a quest down here, apparently. Dagna. Right, we haven't gone to the... Yeah. What quarter is this? This is the... Uh... That doesn't say. That's the armorer store. Filda? 
Brother Burkle and Tapster's Tavern. I know that somebody... Is this... Are we still in the Diamond Quarter? That's just the other side of it. I know somebody we're supposed to talk to is in Tapster's Tavern, but I don't remember who. <laughs> Let's talk to this person who's... Ancestors here. guard my son, for he is lost in darkness. Mothers keep him safe, for you know what it is to mourn. Okay, she's lost somebody. I'm sorry. Did you have an offering for the ancestors? Although, I can't imagine your ancestors reside in the stone. Uh, uh who are you? My name is Vilda, widow of Turok of the Smith Cast. I pray here every day for my son, Ruck. I only wish I knew whether I should be asking for his safe return or for the ancestors to accept his soul. Oh. And what happened to him? It was five years ago. He was only a youngster. He joined a Deep Roads excursion, the only smith to go with the warriors to repair their arms. He was so proud, but he got separated somehow. When they came home, he wasn't with them. Hmm. Did anyone go after him? The captains don't want to lose anyone searching for stray men. Too many were taken by dark spawn that way. Oh. Hmm. So, well, I don't know. <laughs> like, at this point, I don't know if I'm going into the deep roads. Or, like, Bryn doesn't know that she's going to go into the deep roads. I know, because I've done this before. But, uh, yeah. Um, and totally my quest wouldn't be to go look for random people out in the deep roads. So it doesn't feel um, very much in character to just say, yeah, I'll go look for him. <laughs> I'll just go into the deep roads and get him for you. I wonder if I can just leave her for now and then get the quest later when I actually have a reason to go into the deep roads. Yeah, we'll try that. I'll leave you with your grief. Stone guide your steps. I think I can probably still... Yeah, I can still talk to her later. Okay, that's good. Because I just... I'm trying to sort of play in character, you know? Hello? Oh, you don't even want to talk. Okay. So this is a tavern. Looks like Tapster's Tavern. Wow, this um, lava flowing through here would be very, very hot. Would it, would it, would it. And who is this person? Let's go talk to him. Brother Burkle. Oh, there's another nug. Let's go grab the nug. Oh, right. I had two nugs. I should have given him the other nug while I was up there, but we'll, we'll do it later. Maker's blessing on you, sister. Mm-hmm. I didn't think dwarves believed in the Maker. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry. Returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. Even in the very bowels of the earth, we hear no end of this chant. <laughs> and that is something to rejoice in, good sister. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Oh. But don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? There is resistance. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. Hmm. But whose permission do you need to open a chantry? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Oh. Well, do you want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. <laughs> of course you did. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Okay. Well, I'll just I'll help him out. No harm having a chant, a chantry here. I mean, people can decide what they want to do in regards to their religion. Let's see. Wall carving. Uh, explanation of the Dwarven case. System. Okay. I'm not gonna read that. What's this? Is this a merchant? Legnar. Topsiders? Good. Get some outside gold in here. Calm people down. Make them think we should open the gates for good. The more cracks in the old way, the better. 
That's what Balin stands for. Oh. So your allegiance is to this Balin. Why? Not your business, but I see where the gold is. He's the traditional pick, yet he wants a new way, whether some like it or not. Oh. But some say Balin killed his father. Just as many say Harrowmont. Neither are paragons, and the scales being equal, I go with the promise of more trade. Oh. Do so you approve of this chaos? Can't find ore without splitting some stone. My investments are solid, I'll be fine. The assembly has done us a favor. They've shown just how loose the sand is under our feet. It opens people to change. Mm-hmm. Okay. But a blight is coming, and Orzammar can't be divided. Orzammar will decide what we can or can't be. Blight may be imminent on the surface, but our warriors are well-seasoned against dark spawn. There will be topsiders left for trade. There's no end to you. Okay. Let me see what you have in your store. I'll take your gold. You're good for that. <laughs> That's all he cares about, is gold. But you don't have a whole lot to choose from. No, you sure don't. Tome of the Mortal Vessel. What does that do? Um... Gives the reader one more bone, one or more points to spend on attributes. Okay, I'm not gonna spend all my money on those. Hmm, interesting lure trap plans. <laughs> what makes it so interesting, I wonder? Mild lure plans. Okay, ooh, spirit shards, I'll buy those. Uh, not the fire crystals. What is a glamour charm? Captures the viewer's attention and distract. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Interesting lure trap plans. Schematics for a lure trap. Eh, should we buy it? We'll buy it. I think the mild lure trap plans is for a lower quality lure, like a tier one lure. And now that I have tier. Was it tier two or tier three in traps? I can't even remember. I think it was tier three in traps. I am able to buy those maybe. Um, yeah, no, no, uh, no stuff. I'm gonna sell a few things really quick. Okay. All right, there. I just sold a bunch of junk. We don't need any more. Okay, so that's probably the fur cool. And this is Dust Town. Oh dear. The differences between this side of town and the others is striking. Uh huh. Okay. So this is where the poor people live. This. I don't know. Alright, so we have Dust Town. Enemies. Okay. Come on. Hey, oh, I'm stuck in a trap. Come on. Get out of the trap already. There. What? I'm stunned. Come on. They're all. They're all, uh. Rogues, maybe. <laughs> Where am I going? What? What is happening? <laughs> Come on. Okay. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, there's some over here. Missed. Missed. How do you miss? You're standing right in front of him. Dude. Do you not have a sword or anything? Okay. That's it. Huh. Why would why did they just attack us? Who are these people? There's no loot. None of them are dropping loot. I don't even know I didn't even notice what they were called. Okay, they just attacked us randomly. The castless. Rogic. Rogic. He sounds familiar. Huh. 
Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I'm Bryn, a Grey Warden. Oh, you looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Uh-huh. I'd have to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead, at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. Uh-huh. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And, uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Um, okay. I can't say no unless I turn him in. Can I just say no and not turn him in? I don't want to spend 50 sovereigns on something. It must be dangerous if you're paying so much. More so for someone like you, I guess. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. The real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. Uh-huh. Yeah... I can only just agree to do the deal or to turn him in, which will probably cause a fight. I can't just say no thank you and walk away. That's annoying. It sounds like I wouldn't approve of your kind of opportunity. Long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut, we've got no further business. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't care what he does. I'm not gonna turn him in. I'm not the police. I'm just... Talking to everybody as I go along. Alamar's Emporium. Let's go in here. Oh. This is a boring shop. <laughs> Hi. What are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. Yes, this is, doesn't look this doesn't look like a store. Well, our business is kind of covert, if you know what I mean. It's illegal in Orzammar for me to engage in protected trade, but they look the other way if I share things with my friends. For money. Oh. I have... well, I don't actually, but I have some spare equipment. What will you give me? Why don't you take a look? Yeah, I just want to see what he has. Because I don't actually have anything to sell, but I just want to see what he's got. Efforts boots. What are those? Massive boots. Hmm. Okay. Duster leather armor. Hmm. Okay. Senior enchanter's robes. I don't how that com I don't know how that compares to what Wynne is wearing. She is wearing senior enchanter's robes. The exact same thing. <laughs> okay. Never mind then. No items of this type. Uh, freezing coating recipe. What does that do? Weapon coating. Okay. Choking powder trap plans. Requires expert trap making. Sleeping gas trap plans. Is the one that I bought recently requires expert tra trap making? I don't know. Adder's kiss. Okay. Freeze trap plans. I don't know. Improved poison making. Does the red mean that I don't have it? 
I think it does. Concentrated venom. Mild sleeping gas trap plans. No, I think I have improved trap making. Right? Mild choking powder trap plans. Didn't I just get improved trap making? I don't remember, you guys. Hmm. I don't remember. Let's see what else they have. I think I have... Yeah, I have 13 trap triggers. Ooh, lyrium dust. Don't see that very often. For sure. I can't remember what else you need to make lyrium potions. I'm just going to take a look real quick. So for potions... What? Okay, sorry. My controller's spazzing out again. Oh, you just need lyrium dust and a flask. Okay, well, I might as well make those right now. Now for... For the trap. Okay. What do I have? Trap making. There's the interesting lure. Requires expert trap making. Okay, so I didn't get it. Okay, it needs a glamour charm. Oh. So these are lures. I could lure enemies into a certain area. So I guess I should buy all the glamour charms then. Okay. I didn't know what the glamour charms were for. You never know, you know? Um, a small cow tra trap. Okay, that's what we can use metal shards for. Okay, don't spaz out on me. Spring trap. Knocks down whoever triggers it. Small claw trap. That uses metal shards as well. Um, shrapnel trap. Okay. Hmm. Shall we make a cow trap trap? Let's make a shrapnel trap. I guess... Yeah. Let's make another shrapnel trap. Okay, well, that's fine for now. Um, I'll talk to him again. You're back. You got more business for me? Yes. Of course. So... Let's see what else he has. Um, these are just uh, recipes. No. Glamour charms. There we go. Let's buy a couple of those just to see. I know I can't make them yet, but that will prevent me from having to come back later. <laughs> and that's all. Okay. Okay. That's all for now. Bye. Okay, a beggar. Can we give the beggar money? Whoever you're looking for, it's not me, I swear. Uh, apparently not. Okay, fine. Another beggar. Spare coin. Well, apparently I can't, sorry. Assembly directive on dwarven propriety. Did we already wa uh, read that? I don't know. An idle dwarf. Okay. That's the guy that you can talk to to get a nug for Liliana, but you think you have to have the conversation with her first. A beggar. Coin. You got any coin? I haven't eaten since yesterday. Sorry. I do have coin, but apparently I can't give you any more beggars. You got a crust of bread to spare? Nope. <laughs> I don't. Sorry. Spare a bit for the needy? Is there Please. Linda? It's not for me, it's for my child. Okay. H have you a coin to spare, my lady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Okay. He has five silvers. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to... But no! I can't bear to even think of it! Okay. What's wrong? My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Now it's all gone, and it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. Okay. What happened? I fell in love. 
He seems so exotic, you know? Tough and smart, and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless, and I think... No, I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. But our child was a son, castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Oh. Okay, but if you're a minor, then why would your son be castless? In Orzammar, lineage is traced through the child's same-sex parent. Had my baby been a girl, she would have been a minor like me. But as a boy, my son is considered tainted forever by his father's seed. Oh. And isn't there any other solution? Yes. I can become castless with him, which is what I've done. Others have raised children like this, right? Begging for change, sleeping in doorways? Oh. Can't you just take your son to the surface? I thought about that. They say there's no caste up there. That humans don't care about lineage. Well, I've never met a surfacer, <laughs> though. I'm not completely. I thought it might not be safe. Hmm. Everyone is equal on the surface. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> I'm from the surface. And you've been kinder than any of my countrymen. Perhaps it's a sign. If it gives my son a chance to live, I will go. Thank you, stranger, for opening my eyes. Perhaps I'll see you next in the light of the sun. Indeed. It's more fun up there anyway. I'll win. Win like that. Okay. Is this anything? Nope. Um, who's this? Oh, what's this? Slum's house. Okay. Another beggar. If I were tall and beautiful like you, I could make all sorts of money. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know if we need to go into this house because, you know, you don't just walk into random houses in real life. Oh, who's this? Ned Nedelza. No. Ned Nadezda. Nadezda. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine-dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Uh, <laughs> yes, here's five silvers. You're as kind as you are beautiful. I owe you when I get back on my feet, if my feet still worked. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. <laughs> what takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Uh, no. How did you get crippled if you don't mind my nosiness? I'd say it was an accident to try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Ugh. Never healed proper. And they can just get away with that. I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage. So it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Oh. What do you mean by brand? Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. How does one become castless, anyway? That's a question they don't have us ask. Okay. I'll go now. I'll just stay out of your way, then. Huh. Yeah, I don't know... <laughs> That doesn't seem to be a thing that you can ask people. How do you become castless? Obviously, you're born into it, but who was the first castless person? Why were they castless? That's curious. Perhaps it says in that uh, book we picked up. Orzammar? Oh, these are the quests. I need other things. Uh, no, what, do, what is it that I need? I need 
there we go um books and songs no there's nothing new in there um quest related culture and history maybe um, seems like it would be under culture and history um, the casts the cast lists here it is. The caste system in Orzammar includes many groups of privilege. The nobility and the warriors above all others, but to a lesser degree the merchants and the smiths and the miners. Tradition establishes a clear hierarchy, but as in any culture with an upper class, there is also a clear underclass. These unfortunates, the so-called castless, are believed to be descendants of criminals and other undesirables. They have been looked down upon since Orzammar's foundation. They have taken up Residents in a place called Dust Town, a crumbling ruin on the fringe of Orzammar's common areas. Orzammar society considers these castless lower than even the servant caste. Indeed, the castless are not allowed to become servants, as it is too honorable a position. They are seen as little better than animals, their faces branded at birth to mark them as the bastard children of the kingdom. Their home district, little more than a slum, is a haven for crime, organized and otherwise. Orzammar's guards seemingly cannot be bothered to patrol its streets. The best that most castless dwarves can hope for is a life at the whim of a local crime lord ended abruptly by violence or an overabundance of toxic lichen ale. Even so, there is some hope for the castless, a dangling rope that offers a way up into greater Orzammar society. Since a dwarf caste is determined by the parent of the same sex, the male child of a nobleman is part of that noble's house and caste. Strangely, it is acceptable for castless women to train in the arts of courtly romance to woo nobles and warriors. They are known as noble hunters. Any male born from such a union is considered a joyous event, considering the low rate of dwarven fertility. The mother and entire family are then taken in by the father's house, although they retain their caste. The dwarves we know on the surface are also considered casteless once they leave Orzammar, although this is only relevant to those who return, if they are allowed to return at all. Dwarves who leave for the surface, like the sun-touched, as they are often called behind their backs, lose their connection to the stone and the favor of the ancestors, and thus are worthy of little more than pity, for upon dying they are said to be lost to the stone forever. Put that way, it seems a sad existence indeed. Okay. Now we know they were the descendants of criminals who basically probably had their castes removed from them when they became criminals as part of their punishment. Answered. Okay, let's get out of here because I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Yeah. All right. Now, we were going to go in somewhere. Yes, we were going to go into a tavern. Uh, this one. Tapster's Tavern. And I can't remember. Let me just check the quest log real quick. Who did we need to go in? Um, okay. The leader should be address the assembly. Uh, the chamber of the assembly. Right. We're not going to do that yet. Um, Vartag Gavorn. Balin's second in command. Um... And we can find him in the assembly chamber. Okay. Doolin Ferender. And we find him in Tapster's Tavern. He is the Lord Haramont's um, guy. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. We're just speaking to Lord Haramont's guy in here. Ah, and there's also more stuff to do in here as well. Oh, wonderful. A dwarven tavern. I've always wanted to try some of their ale. I hear it's quite potent. Hmm. Okay. Um, who's this? Cora. I'll trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Yeah. Well, I suppose we should try some of the ale, yes? With 52 types of ale, 17 types of mead, and a dozen imported wines, we should be able to serve your needs. <laughs> what do you have? Oh. Well... Wynn suggested the ale, so I'll have some ale. I recommend a Brachian brew. She has a heavy head and a deep, rich taste. Three silvers gives you a pint. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what that does. 
A breaky and brew never fails to hit the spot. Hmm. Vartag Gavorn certainly owes Prince Balin. From a minor house to a prince's right-hand man, he'd do anything Balin asked him. Well, I have other customers to see too. If you need anything else, just call me over. What did that have to do with the ale? That was a random comment about Balin. Okay. So what did that do for me? Did it did I actually get the ale in my inventory? Do I actually have it? Or did I just drink it and Hmm? Huh? No. I don't have it. I don't have it. I just drank it and there's nothing different to me. Okay, fine. Whatever. Um where else should we go? Tapster's patron. Darkspawn attacks have been really light this year. That's because they're all up on the surface. Can you believe King Endrin turned against his own son? Well, if his own son is actually the one who wanted to kill him, then yeah. The surface must be so interesting. Why are you guys all standing here? Facing this way. Are you watching these guys that are on the stage? That's the translation of what he's saying? Okay. I'm not gonna listen to the entire thing. Tapster's waitress. Um, okay, lots of things, lots of people. Told him I don't understand why the provings aren't open to everyone. I mean, it's how the ancestors oh. show their favor. That's a Do lore. they really need our help to decide who's worthy? And then he practically slapped me. Lord Helmy. Why do I recognize the name Helmy? Should we talk to him? He's a talk to guy. <laughs> Lord Denik Helmy. Honored Desher of the Orzammar Assembly and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. Ah. You understand what I'm saying, right? On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Uh... Yes. Um... A controversial opinion for a dwarf in the assembly. Very good. I guess someone already told you I was good for nothing, drinking my life away at Tapster's. Or did they leave off a greatest shame to ever fall upon the assembly? I'm always like that one. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent deshers if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. Hmm. So you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Oh. And who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Hmm. Okay. Bye. As you wish. So he's probably somebody that we have to talk to to get on our side for the person we want to support. Is this the dude over here that we want to talk to? They're everywhere! I can't take it! Nervous adventurer. What? Get away! You'll change like the rest! Monsters hidden in all my friends. What are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I what? won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. <laughs> What's weird? 
<laughs> what did that codex say? I don't know which one. I didn't read what the codex entry was before it disappeared. I don't, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Characters, maybe? No. I need to, um... Whatever. I, I don't want to spend time looking through all that. It's just not a very efficient way of doing things. Okay, so where is this uh, guy we're looking for? Hmm. I didn't see him anywhere. He's supposed to be in here, right? Oh, is he this dude here? Nevin. I don't think this is him. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? No. Who are you? Name's Naveen. I fight with oh, Prince Naveen. Balin's expeditionary field unit. Yourself? Oh. I'm Bryn, a Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. Do you know Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the Deep Roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Hmm. So you work for Balin? I go where I'm sent, fight when I'm there, and leave politics where it belongs. Okie dokie. I've never been in the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Hmm. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Oh. Then what are you looking for? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. Hmm, and who's Bronca? Bronca was a paragon, some kind of great smith or whatnot. But she went batty and let her whole house into the deep roads more than two years ago. There's no chance she could have survived. And a lot of good men are gonna die looking for her corpse. Excuse me. This brew is starting to taste awful bitter. Oh, he doesn't want to talk anymore. Okay. Where is this guy we're looking for? What was his name? I've already forgotten. Wrong way. Um... Dulin Foren Forender. Durin Forender. He is in... Oh, he's in the Diamond Quarter or in Tapster's Tavern. Okay, so he's not here currently, so we need to go to the Diamond Quarter. Uh. I mean the Assembly. We need to go to the Assembly, right? That's what it said? Yes? Nah. Um, oh no, he's in Lord Haramon's estate in the Diamond Quarter. Okay, and the other guy is in the Assembly Chamber. Okay. Well, let's fight. Where? Where is he? Oh yeah, hold on. There was a armorer here. Let's go in here. Hi. Oh, that's just armor. It looked like a dead guy laying in there. A wall carving. It looks similar to the last one. Culture of the Dwarves in Orzammar. Okay, hello. You have... Oh yeah, Janar is... Um, what's her name's dad? Welcome to Janar Family Armors. I must say, you look like our type of people. Looking for a new set of mail. At Janar's, we have everything from leather to platinum. Platinum? I've never seen platinum armor before. <laughs> huh. So, do you know anything about what's happening with the king? I stay out of politics. It's not good for a smith to get the attention of those who grant vendors licenses. Hmm. Lord Haramont's a fair man. My father did business with him, and he always paid on time. But the Idukans have served us well. If it is the ancestors' wisdom to keep them on the throne, <laughs> I cannot object. Oh. Okay. So, do you have a daughter named Dagna? I... Has she been bothering you? 
Gets a whiff of surface stink and she's like a cave tick. Won't let go. <laughs> and no, she hasn't been a bother. Oh, good. Well, let me know if she does trouble you any. Um, well, she doesn't want to become a mage. That's okay. I'd like to help her study with the mages. Do you even know what that means? If Dagna goes to the surface, she forfeits her caste. She'll never be able to marry or, or work in Orzammar again. Dwarves don't do magic. Dagna knows that. It's just the childhood fantasy that dies hard. Please, mm. if you see her, send her back and let me talk some sense into her. Nah, yeah, well, no. She can do whatever she wants. I'm not going to presume to know or care about their whole thing here. <laughs> she wants to go to the surface and I'm sure she's well aware that she'll lose her cast. I'm sure she feels like it's worth it. So I'll let her do it, right? So I'm just gonna let her do what she feels like doing. All right, so we have looked everywhere here, you guys. And uh, I guess this goes to the assembly. What's this? So you met this sibling of yours? Half-sister, but yes. And you gave the woman money? Uh, yes. Why would you do such a thing? This woman is a parasite who will appreciate nothing you do. You know this. It's moments like this when I truly appreciate the difference between you and me. <laughs> it's moments like this when I truly wonder at the difference between you and a toadstool. <laughs> There's another nug. We should go give the nugs away. More things on Dwarven Propriety. Okay. Let's collect this nug. Let's actually go give the nugs back before I forget, because I will forget. <laughs> I will. I will forget. And after that, that might be wrapping up this episode as well. Hi. Sorry I'm standing so close. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. Yes, I have more here. You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. But there's more out there. Another one? You're the best wrangler I've ever seen. But there's more out there. I think I only had three on me. Okie dokie, you guys. We don't have a lot of episode time left. I mean, technically, it's been, yeah, an hour, approximately. A little less than an hour, but um, I think I'm going to stop here before we head off into a new place that's going to open up all kinds of new stuff to do. So, I will see you in the next episode. And tell me what you thought of this one. And it was just a bunch of exploring, exploring a new area, doing little things. Next episode... We're going to go into the assembly. I think that's what that is in there, at least. Or the proving grounds or whatever. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, look at the map. <laughs> the proving grounds. Okay, it's the proving grounds. But eh, I don't know where to go to find these people that we need to talk to. Um, it said that they're in the... Oh, wait. Is the diamond quarter an entrance down there? Oh, wrong way. I can't, I can't remember. I wish I could sprint. I just want to sprint over there real quick. I forgot. Is the Diamond Quarter an actual place to go? Yes. Okay. That's where we're going to go next episode. <laughs> I'm getting all turned around. Okay, we're going to go to the Diamond Quarter in the next episode and find these guys we're supposed to talk to. How much you want to bet that by the time I get in there, they're going to be in the tavern again. <laughs> Anyways, give this video a like if you liked it, you guys, as it helps out the channel. And it helps out even more if you leave a comment down below. So let me know if you've enjoyed the show. And I will see you next time. So until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun. Bye, guys.